spending our last couple of days in Oshawan in that Airbnb up behind us. And my dad ran off to have some tea with some locals and we cannot find him yet. So he's making friends. I have dinner reservations already set up. Already set up? Yeah. We got the table out here. Mustafa is going to take care of us. So Good, 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 good. His uh, parents lived in Jamaica. And so he just. Oh, his parents grew up in Jamaica. Yeah, I haven't talked to, to the Jamaican guy. Ah. Teen Island, we're walking around some ancient ruins, but the Nile is so picturesque here that we just had to stop and take a couple minutes to look at it. I think it's a king giving offerings to Amum, the god of earth and creation, uh, Osiris, maybe, and somebody else. Oh, you're filming. <laughs> That's probably wrong. I'm not an Egyptologist. <laughs> they have a thing called a Nilometer, and it's a giant pit they measure the height of the Nile in. Awesome, there's a gecko. We found a gecko? There he goes. of Upper Lower Egypt Strait, but right now we are in the south at Upper Egypt and they wear bowling pins on their head. And the other one's the other one. Northern Egypt, which is Lower Egypt, those are the same, and they have a big flat crown that swoops up in the back and it's usually red and then they have like a big long string curly cue that comes out of the top of it. When the kingdoms were united, the crowns were put together. talking about how the Romans came and occupied this temple and we were looking at some of these walls like wow the Romans built that he's like but they're pretty new and this is one of the only places where you can say that the Romans were a relatively new empire we see these markings all over the temples and this is where the Romans came and sharpened their spears and it makes this groove over time Here we are in the, hello? 
Hello? Okay, maybe you can hear me. Here we are in the botanical gardens. We just had to run the gauntlet for many people in front of this botanical garden attempting to sell us things. But now it's really peaceful and I still cannot sing. Thought we were safe on the inside of the park. There's another gauntlet where they try to sell you more trinkets. This place would be so peaceful, except there's still people trying to sell you stuff here. Here we are on a camel. The rest of my family is really slow because Ellie's camel is really slow and they're stopping everybody. Buddy. Oh. Right on through. <laughs> he just kept on going. This is my camel. He's named King. He's the best. Mohammed, he's my guide. He's the best. surprise turn of events. Uh, we had originally planned on going to Morocco for after Egypt, but instead we we're going to India. And I think we're going to spend about a month just hanging out on a beach. Egypt was very hectic. Uh, a good, good hectic. India might be more hectic, but we're going to go try to find a nice beach to lay on. Yes. Goa, Goa has, is supposed to have some of the some pretty choice beaches to relax on and go go do some yoga. Tonight we're gonna wake up in Mumbai. On our last day in Ashan we went to the Animalia Nubian Museum and we got to learn all about the Nubian culture and we got breakfast with the locals because the previous day we went and bought jewelry and some rugs and other souvenirs from our friend Omar. We spent all morning sitting in front of the shops in the bazaar eating cool. They chopped up a whole bunch of vegetables that I'm surprised we did not get sick eating. We gotta be more careful about what we eat in India, but we made some really good local friends in Ashwan and we are very sad to leave Egypt. It was... We will be coming back. Don't worry. <clears throat> Egypt was wonderful. It was... We'll go home, we'll save in our piggy banks, and we'll bring all our money back and spend it here. <laughs> Goodbye, Egypt.